girl group of all time, K-pop sensations. K-pop has become a worldwide cultural phenomenon. We grew into something that we didn't even know was possible. Do you know how Blackpink rules the K-pop scene with their amazing music and fierce vibes? Well, while they've been taking over the world, their dating lives have been a total mystery. Lisa, Jisoo, Jenny, and Rose, the Fab Four, have kept their romantic adventures under wraps. But their management, YG Entertainment, has this thing called a dating ban that keeps them from getting too cozy with anyone. They spilled the tea about it during an interview on JYP's Party People back in 2017. Basically, this rule doesn't just cover dating. It's like a whole manual on how to behave. From not smoking or drinking to staying away from clubs and even avoiding tattoos and plastic surgery. There's a loophole. The former CEO of YG Entertainment, Yang Hyun Suk, could give them a pass to break any rule they want. Back in 2016, Jisoo spilled the beans on how serious YG and Yang were about keeping them away from dating. She shared in an interview, When I first met Yang Hyun Suk, he straight up asked me, Got a boyfriend? I was wearing a ring at the time, and he even asked about that. Turns out, she didn't have a boyfriend. It was just a ring. But hey, times have changed. In the past five years, Blackpink's dating scene has seen quite the evolution. From public relationships to rumors about them signing with different agencies, these girls have really grown since their debut in 2016. Let's dive deeper into the romances, link-ups, and rumored boyfriends of the Blackpink crew. Starting with Jisoo. So, Jisoo, the Unnie of Blackpink, has always been pretty private about her personal life. But in August 2023, Dispatch, the notorious paparazzi, dropped a bombshell by revealing that they caught Jisoo hanging out with actor Ahan Bo Hyun at her place. Yep, it was quite the headline. They even had exclusive pics to prove it, stirring up all sorts of excitement among Blinks, the Blackpink fandom. And guess what? YG Entertainment, their label, actually backed them up. They put out a statement saying Jisoo and Ahn were totally into each other and taking things slow to get to know each other better. Ahn, with his roles in hit K-dramas like Yumi's Cells and A Taiwan Class, has been making waves in the industry, so you can imagine the buzz. But fast forward to October 25th, and there's a plot twist. NME Asia reports that Jisoo and Ahn called it quits. Apparently, their busy schedules made it hard for them to keep up, and they drifted apart naturally. YG Entertainment confirmed the breakup, saying, Yep, Jisoo and Ahn Bo Hyun are no longer a thing. Other than Ahn, Jisoo hasn't let us in on any other romantic adventures. Up next is Jenny. Alright, so Jenny is the only other Blackpink member who has revealed about her love life while still in the group. She had a thing with EXO's Kai from October 2018 to January 2019. SM Entertainment, which handles EXO, confirmed their relationship in December 2018 after they were caught on a cozy date. Fans started suspecting something was up when both Jenny and Kai posted lovey-dovey pics in front of the Eiffel Tower around the same time. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. By January 2019, the romance fizzled out. SM Entertainment revealed that their crazy schedules drove them apart. They decided to focus on their careers, but remained pals. According to a statement from the company. Now, here's where it gets spicy. In February 2021, Dispatch dropped a bombshell. Jenny was supposedly sneaking around with Big Bang's G-Dragon for a whole year. This shook the K-pop world to its core. Dispatch claimed Jenny would zip over to G-Dragon's penthouse through a secret parking lot and elevator, especially after her black pink gigs. They even said YG Entertainment, Jenny's label, was cool with it, and their managers helped set up their rendezvous. When G-Dragon's ride was spotted at a Blackpink concert, well, you can imagine the rumors went wild. But despite all the buzz, YG Entertainment stuck to their guns about keeping their artists' personal lives under wraps. Before moving further into Lisa's dating history, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest content. If you love watching reactions, subscribe to our other channel, Yaboy Rockley Reactions, where we cover anime, K-pop, and more. So yeah, Lisa. Lisa's love life has been the talk of the town lately, and the latest buzz places her in some pretty intriguing situations. Lisa was recently seen hanging out on a Miami beach with the son of a billionaire. In recent months, Lisa's name has been linked romantically with Frederic Arnault, 
the big shot CEO of a fancy watch brand and heir to the world's richest billionaire. And there's some pretty convincing evidence backing up these rumors. Like at a Born Pink concert last November in the US, Frederick was spotted giving Lisa major support and even snapped a photo with her backstage. He's not just a casual observer on Instagram either. He follows Lisa's pet account and seems to be quite the fan, even liking her pet pics. Plus, he's been showing some love for posts by Lisa's bestie, actress Diana Flippo. Then there's the Paris restaurant Rendezvous in July, where Lisa was seen cozying up to Frederic, resting her head on his shoulder. They're practically inseparable at Bulgari events, sitting side by side. And get this, when Lisa shared pics from her Greece trip on August 9th, Frederick's sister-in-law posted similar snaps, hinting they might have been vacationing together. But wait, there's more detective work. Frederick posted his own vacation pics from Greece or Italy just before Lisa shared hers from Italy on August 10th. Coincidence? Fans don't think so. Plus, there's the small detail of Frederick rocking a phone case with Lisa's name under a sticker and sporting a pink watch that reminds fans of Blackpink. Despite some folks defending Lisa, saying she might just be on a Bulgari-sponsored trip, CEO Jean-Christophe Babin denied vacationing with her. And YG Entertainment, Lisa's label, hasn't said a peep about these dating rumors. Recently, Lisa was caught on a video strolling the streets of Miami Beach, looking absolutely breathtaking in a Kitey Samuel chalk stripe wool blend jacket. This sighting comes hot on the heels of her notable appearance at the LVMH Watch Week event in Miami, Florida which took place from January 28th to February 1st. The video and photos, shared by photographer Pichichipex, were taken on January 31st, 2024. Interestingly, Pichichipex noted that Miami has a holiday season for the wealthy. In the footage, Lisa was seen walking alongside a woman carrying a bag similar to the one typically used by Geraldine Guillaume Arnaud, Alexandre Arnaud's wife. And guess what? The next clip showed Frédéric Arnaud walking alongside Alexandre Arnaud. Although Lisa and Frédéric didn't stroll together in the videos, the fact that they were seemingly accompanied by Alexandre Arnaud and Geraldine Guillaume Arnaud has sparked more speculation about Lisa's possible relationship with Frédéric Arnaud. At last, we have Rosé. Although Rosé has kept her dating life under wraps, she once shared on an episode of Weekly Idol that her ideal partner is someone kind, polite, and with a knack for singing. Lisa backed her up, adding that Rosé also has a soft spot for guys who can strum a guitar. But despite these hints, many fans speculate that Rosé's single status might be due to YG Entertainment's strict dating policies, which tend to keep their artists' personal lives hush-hush. However, the rumor mill went into overdrive earlier this year, April 2023, when Rosé appeared on an Instagram story by famous Italian fashion designer Riccardo Tisci. The post showed her at a social gathering, alongside South Korean actor Kang Dong-won. In typical K-pop fashion, attending an event with a colleague was enough to ignite dating rumors. Fans analyzed every detail, from matching accessories to outfits, speculating about a potential romance between Rosé and Kang. As the rumors gained momentum, YG Entertainment stepped in with a statement on April 17th, stressing the privacy of their artists' personal lives. But with speculation still swirling, the agency issued another statement later that day, firmly denying the dating rumors. They made it clear that the reports about Rosé dating Kang were false, urging fans to refrain from spreading misinformation. That wraps up today's video. Let us know which Blackpink members' dating history and relationships intrigue you the most. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video.